Hi, I'm here to talk to you about emotion focused therapy. My name is Dr. Anna Aldershaw and I am a clinical psychologist. I work with the Emotion Focused Therapy Institute of England at Canterbury Christchurch University, part of the Salomons Institute for Applied Psychology. And I am also a clinical psychologist in the Eating Disorder Service in Kent. I work mostly with adults, um, specifically with anorexia. And I'm also involved in developing the Speaks Intervention, which is an adaptation of emotion focused therapy for adults with anorexia, which is currently undergoing a clinical trial. Emotion focused therapy is a therapy that, as the name suggests, focuses on emotion. It was initially developed as an individual therapy, but has now also been applied in couples. And it sees emotion as the core of human experience. It views emotions as adaptive and that they evolve to help us survive and they're important for healthy human functioning. Emotion focused therapy believes that emotions come first. They're the very first thing that we experience in the world and they offer important information about ourselves, about others and our relationships and also about the world around us, such as anger, maybe telling us there's been some kind of relationship boundary violation or mistreatment or sadness to tell us that we've lost something. They tell us about our needs and they drive us towards action in order to get those needs met. So we can see that if we're not in touch with what we're feeling, we, use, we lose really important, valuable information to guide us in our lives. Emotion focused therapy proposes that we have, can have different types of emotion response and not all emotion is the same. Some emotions are constructive, other emotions can get in the way. And this is not broken down in the way that some people might break down emotions into sort of good or bad or positive or negative emotions. It's broken down in a different way. So, for example, you can have primary adaptive emotions. So these are the natural response immediately occurring within the context of a given situation. So, for example, sadness at a loss or anger at a boundary violation or mistreatment. So these are constructive emotions, they're useful emotions, they're telling you good information and you can process them, they can direct you to action and you move on from them. You don't get stuck here. You can get stuck in maladaptive emotion. So these are feelings that are caught in the past and aren't really a true fit for our current situation. So these are bad stuck old feelings, the story of my life feelings. So, you know, people always treat me badly. It's not fair. The world has got it in for me. The feelings of anger, stuck anger, and becoming very angry at the smallest slight. This is not constructive or helpful. It's a poor fit for the situation that you're immediately confronted with. And secondary emotions are another type of important emotion in emotion focused therapy. And as the name suggests, these are emotions that come second. So this is an emotion in response to another emotion. So for example, anger. At a, in response to a feeling of shame. And people commonly come to therapy naming secondary emotions. And what we want to help people do is to, of course, validate those feelings and experience those, but work through those to get to the primary emotions. What we want to do is to seek to help people to move through the secondary emotions and some maladaptive emotions to help people move to their core pain so that they can really experience and work with that lived emotional experience and start to change emotions within the session. So there's some great sayings in EFT to capture this. So, you know, you can't leave a place until you've arrived or the only way out is through. And this is really capturing the notion that we have to go to this core pain and experience it in order to process it, name some of the associated unmet needs and ultimately work towards changing emotion with emotion. How does emotion focused therapy work with emotion? Emotion focused therapy takes a dialogical self approach. It understands that we're multifaceted. We're comprised of many often contradicting parts of self. So for example, we might have that critical part that gives us a hard time, that perhaps drives some of our bad stuck old feelings. And there's parts of us that maybe interrupt ourselves, that can shut down our process, can get in the way in therapy of accessing core painful feelings, such as a part that tells us not to feel. And this can keep us stuck. There's two core components to emotion focused therapy approach. 
Firstly, it's working in the relationship with a strong focus on empathy. Now, of course, all approaches would argue that they work with empathy, but in my view, it's a little bit different in emotion focused therapy. You are constantly attuning and explicitly conveying and communicating your empathy to the client. You're working in a moment to moment way with their emotional experience. It's not just about feeling empathy, but it's about how you communicate and emphasise that with your client in the way that you respond to them. And then it uses interventions within the context of that and to try and address specific problems in sessions. And the, the interventions that you might choose are indicated by markers that clients bring into the sessions that tell you that one piece of work or another is necessary. And Les Greenberg, one of the founders of Emotion Focused Therapy, talks about this as sort of islands of work within a sea of empathy. And that I think is a really neat way to kind of sum up Emotion Focused Therapy. In terms of the interventions that you might use, some of these are linked to other approaches. So, for example, Gestalt therapy, where you might use chairs to map out parts of self. So two chairs, one chair where you might put the critical part of self to provoke the emotions and the experiencing self so you can start to work with those and help those emerge. You might do empty chair work where you put a significant other with whom you have unfinished business in another chair and put them into dialogue and work through the process and the emotions associated with that unfinished business. One of the things I really like about emotion focused therapy and I really value about it and really drew me to it is the fact that these tasks are built from the bottom up using really robust change process research by looking at how these tasks work and facilitate change for those who have good outcomes versus those who have less good outcomes. So there's a really clear process of change in emotion focused therapy that helps guide you as a therapist. Thank you for listening. That was my very brief summary of Emotion Focused Therapy. I believe our details of the Emotion Focused Therapy Institute of England will be available. And if anyone wants to get in touch with any questions or to find out more, please do. We'd love to hear from you and I hope to meet some of you in the future. Bye.